The original Wide Wheel electric scooter was a runaway success last year, and now the 2020 Wide Wheel Pro has taken an already great scooter and made it even better. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today I'm reviewing the Wide Wheel Pro electric scooter. This is the updated version of one of the most popular electric scooters on the market. Let's check it out. The 2020 Wide Wheel Pro is a beast of a scooter, offering two powerful motors for all-wheel drive and full suspension to improve ride comfort. But let's start with what's new this year. The upgraded Wide Wheel Pro starts with a brand new screen. It replaces the old, simple LED interface and shows you your speed, battery, distance, riding mode, etc., and also lets you choose your cruise control setting. Personally, I'm not a big fan of cruise control, especially on powerful scooters like these, because it just kind of weirds me out that some other logic program besides my own brain is in control of the throttle, but I know that many people who have long, uninterrupted paths on their commutes find it to be a really nice option. The front of the display also gets new LED lights that are super bright and make it safer to ride at night. The next upgrade is in the braking. The 2020 Wide Wheel Pro now has dual wheel disc brakes. They're mechanical, and as much as I would have loved some hydraulic disc brakes, these seem to work just fine, and they also help keep the price from jumping up too high. That price, by the way, is currently $1,249 with the current sale at Fluid Free Ride. But wait, before you click away, keep watching, because you'll see why this scooter is worth every penny. The next upgrade is a larger battery this year, increased to 720 watt hours. That's around two to three times the size of batteries in budget electric scooters, and about 50% larger than the average electric bicycle battery, which sits in the 500 watt hour range. If you're riding the scooter wide open throttle in high power mode all the time, you'll likely still get at least 20 miles or 32 kilometers of range. But if you switch to eco mode, which to be honest is still plenty of fun on a scooter like this, you'll be seeing ranges of over 30 miles or around 50 kilometers. Now speaking of power mode, it got a slight boost on the Wide Wheel Pro, bringing the top speed of the scooter up to 26 miles per hour or 42 kilometers per hour. And the last big upgrade is the ruggedness of the scooter. It's now built with a stronger fork, a thicker stem, stronger locking mechanism, basically the whole thing is just a stronger version of itself, designed to last longer and hold up to even more abuse. So that pretty much sums up the upgrades to the Wide Wheel Pro, but how does the scooter ride? Well, in my opinion, it's a blast to ride. If anything, it's almost too powerful sometimes. And you do have to be careful with the throttle, because in power mode, it wants to go. Like, seriously. These dual motors may be rated at just 500 watts each, but they're absolutely putting out more than a combined one kilowatt of power. So this is not a beginner scooter. It's for someone who is prepared for that kind of power. The suspension and the wide wheels of the scooter are perhaps the best part of the scooter though in my opinion. They help smooth out the road and they make rides more pleasant and fun. To be fair, the suspension isn't the longest travel I've ever seen, but it works just fine at doing what it's intended for, which is improving the street performance and the ride comfort of the scooter. And with the foam-filled wide wheels, you never have to worry about getting a flat tire like you would with air-filled pneumatic tires, so the scooter retains comfort while reducing maintenance concerns as well. The Wide Wheel Pro also folds up at both the stem and the handlebars, meaning the whole thing is super narrow when it's folded. You could fit it under a subway bench or under your desk at work. It is a bit heavy at 54 pounds or 24 kilos. Those structural and battery upgrades took a bit of a toll on the total weight of the scooter, but it's still manageable in my opinion. All in all, I definitely recommend the Wide Wheel Pro for anyone who needs a fast and powerful scooter that offers comfortable suspension and yet still folds up into a small footprint. The price isn't cheap, but of course you already knew that you can't get these wide wheels, dual motors, long range, and high power for cheap. These types of high performance electric scooters have always been a pay to play kind of industry, and at least the Wide Wheel Pro is a fraction of the cost of big scooters like the Dualtrons or others. That keeps it manageable as a commuter scooter while still offering the power of a larger scooter. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed this review of the 2020 Wide Wheel Pro. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? 
and don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you next time.